Hey everybody, it's Kim Danke, your Shibboleth new member Fast Track Instructor, and we are here on Thursday night for lap five, lap five of Fast Track. Fast Track is the system that when applied, and if you work through each action item, you will know how to do Shibboleth and how to use the resources available to you on the website. After spending a week in, in Fast Track, if you don't get it, do Fast Track again. Do it again. Okay, so um, when you hop on here this morning, please, please, <laughs> I just went into my shibby show when you hop on here this morning, when you hop on here this evening, if you don't mind, please say hello, where you're watching from, and if you've lost any weight on the Shibboleth lifestyle. The other thing I am looking for is to see how long you have been a member, or if you are watching this and you are not a member. I would like to know my audience. So please tell me that. That would be awesome information. Hey, Patty, thank you so much for doing all the sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Jeannie on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, please hit that share button. Let somebody know about what we have to offer on Shibboleth because it is such a blessing. I mean, such a blessing. If you are in the Zoom room, take a second to say hello. Hey, Candy. Thank you, Candy. I appreciate that very, very much. Thank you. Hey, Jane. Jane, my friend from Villarica. So um, today I have been all over town and I was just commenting with some other folks that I have been in two Publixes and a Whole Foods today finding restrooms <laughs> because I drink a lot of water. Let's see. Hey, Sharon. Okay. Elizabethtown, Kentucky just joined and have not got completely started as of yet. Okay. So I love that answer, Sharon. Make sure. There's, there's, there's five parts to the shield, and you learn that on a Sunday night video if you haven't watched it, but only one of them has to do with what you're eating. Go ahead and apply number one, which is drinking your water, number two, which is writing down your food. Go ahead and apply number four, which is the portion control, and number five, the timing, and you will be on a great start. Then start to go, okay, what am I going to eat? I need to go to the grocery store. You know, all those little things. So you're doing great. You are in the right spot. I just commend you for being here in Fast Track. Yes. Sometimes people will go, I got to do all of that before I get started. Like all of Fast Track. I'm like, no, start drinking your water. You don't have to learn anything to start that. Start writing down your foods. You don't have to learn anything to start that. Start portion controlling. You don't have to learn anything to start that and give yourself four to six hours between breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You don't have to learn anything to start that. The food combinations is the one that you have to spend just a minute listening and coming up with your favorites and building your meals. That's the one you might need to learn a little bit more. But if you start applying those other four, you're gonna start getting great results just from that, just from that. Okay. Let's see, we've got Candy from 2016, okay, and live in Tunnel Hill, Georgia, and Andrea Hodgenville, Kentucky, member for about four weeks, eight pounds down, congratulations, Andrea, that is awesome, hey, Jelena, Jelena, okay, went out of town last week, so picking up where I left off, I lost five pounds on week two so far, great job, that is awesome, let's see, Candy, how do I get the text every time you go live? Candy, I don't send text. So I go live just about at the same time every day. So I don't send texts because texting capabilities, capabilities is very expensive. So I save mine for Jason and Travis. But I go live on the Shibboleth public page each morning around 730, 740-ish. Depends on what time I get up, get my hair fixed, get my makeup on and get downstairs. And then every night, that's Monday through Friday. And then every night at 7.30 right here. So I don't actually send out any texts, Candy, but I'm very consistent. Oh, the other place to find out everything that I'm doing is in the pink online webinars tab in the MashaBoleth.com website. All my stuff is always kept up to date in there. So thank you for asking. Thank you for wanting to know what I'm doing. That's awesome. Let's see. Hey, Sherry Ditto um, has been a member for two years and she's from Kennesaw and she's maintaining 75 pounds 75 pound weight loss 
maintaining it. We're doing it together. Um, and she watches Fast Track every month. Yay! Thank you. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and get started because I do not like to delay in getting started, but I do want to say hello to everybody because one of the most special things about Shibboleth is the community and us getting to know each other. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to head over to the Fast Track Laps. If you do not see, I've got it saved as a favorite. Do you see this right here? I've got that saved as a favorite. So I'm going to click there. And it's taken me to Fast Track and I already had it prepared to go to number flat five. Um, but if you need to know how to like that Candy has been a member since 2016. So she's not a brand new member. If she were a brand new member and she clicked on dashboard, it would go directly to Fast Track. Hey, Evelyn. But with Candy being um, a member with us for some time now, for her to find Fast Track, she clicks on Dashboard, it's gonna show up to this instructor page right here, and then she clicks on Fast Track right there to the left. Okay, so tonight we're doing lap five, and I'm gonna start at the bottom of this list. Well, as a reminder, this is a little tutorial video right there telling you why you're doing these things here. I've decided to start at the bottom of this list because sometimes I feel like I am not giving them, I, I talk about all those other things so much that I don't give the meal replacements the, um, the time they deserve. So I just am gonna start at the bottom today. So this says, these meals are a perfect combination of fiber, protein, carbs, et cetera, that make up a complete meal. In weight loss mode, it is best to use negative two, negative three weight loss meter meals. So our point with doing tonight, you'll notice it says that the action item is for you to list seven meal replacements on your fast track worksheet. If you do not remember where the fast track worksheet is, let's go right here to lap three and both of these things link to the fast track worksheet. I'm just going to click right here, the one that says create lists of your favorites, because this is you continuing to create lists of your favorites. Yes, you need to know your favorite lean proteins. And if you like shellfish, you need to know your favorite shellfish. You need to know your favorite protein plus fats. You need to know your favorite, favorite fibrous carbs. You need to know your favorite superfoods. And then you also need to know your favorite energy carbs and fruit. That way you can build meals that you truly enjoy. That's the point of eating is to enjoy while fueling our body with the proper thing. I know we all love a satisfying meal. Uh, now, not every meal has to be like a full out foodie meal because we are just, we're eating to satisfy ourselves and then, they, I mean, not satisfy, uh, fuel ourselves. And then there are going to be times where it's really doing both, but there are going to be times that your meal just wasn't that great. You know, I don't know why it might not be, but that just happens sometimes. You just got to chalk it up to, I fueled myself, you know, and move on. And maybe you do something different to that meal next time. But you see in the bottom left-hand corner of this worksheet, there is a place for seven freebies, seven extras, seven snacks, and seven meal replacements. This is where you can write your seven from the lap that we're doing tonight. But if you don't have a printer and you didn't print this out, you just need to put them on your own paper. The point is, though, to write them down. Because if you write them down, then you'll probably go look for them, you'll find them and that type of thing. But if you don't care enough to write them down, what good is that going to do you? Just listen to this isn't going to do you any good if you don't care enough to take a note, write down what you like, do the action items, because participating in your own healing is very important. And people think it's weird sometimes that I use the word healing about this subject, but learning to eat right when we've eaten wrong for so many years um, is a healing. And so let's do it. Let's heal. And the body's ready to heal. As soon as we start doing the right thing for it, it will heal. All right. So I have already um, linked this to negative two, negative three meal replacements. You don't even have to set it to that. I just went ahead and set it to negative two, negative three meal replacements for you.
Okay, so you can see the category at the top, meal replacement. And if you ever see MR, that's meal replacement, just our abbreviation for it. If you needed to have meal replacements that were gluten-free, you can click there. If you need uh, meal replacements without any artificial sweetener in them, you can click there. Okay, so you can use those filters. But you'll notice that the weight loss meter right here, you see how if I hover my mouse over that little thin line there, I get that black box that pops up and I've got my range set. My range is set from negative two to negative three because that is the best for weight loss. There's a lot of other options in the meal replacement um, category, but if you want the best for weight loss, it would be negative two, negative three, and they are in that yellow column, okay? They're in that yellow column, which is fast weight loss. So I've got my, my favorites hearted, and I'm hoping that you all have been with me from um, Tuesday night when I went over the food library. I'm hoping you're there, and you kind of know that the list shows up like this, and then when you scan out to the side, like this says AHS, which stands for Advanced Health Systems. This AHS product is a product that we sell at the Shibboleth store, either in person in Kennesaw or online. Um, so that is a, that's a product that is specifically made for weight loss. Now, you know, our, our, our real goal is to teach you how to eat whole foods from the grocery store. But we also know people just want their pancakes. Um, or their macaroni and cheese or whatever it might be. And this is what I love about this lifestyle so, so very much. Hey, Janet. Yes. She says the AHS mac and cheese is yummy. Thank you for that. Um, one thing I love about this lifestyle is that it's practical, it's sustainable, and it's fun. We don't try to eliminate entire food groups or the things that people just enjoy. We just find the ones that work, okay? So these are specifically designed for weight loss, that advanced health system product is. So look, it's a negative three, a negative three, and you can see that I have hearted it. 150 other people have said that they like it. And if I wanted to add it to my grocery list, I can click that button. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up because I want you to look at it with me. Okay, so when you are looking here in this category area, it can be used as a snack. It can be used as a meal replacement. And it can be used as a perfect pairing. A perfect pairing is something that does not follow the exact rules of our combination chart, but it has been determined that if you do it the exact way that is listed in the description, that it would work for weight loss. Now, it is in the blue column, so it's not something that I would want to do three meals a day, seven days a week. You know, it's something I might want to do every once in a while, but when you see something listed in multiple categories here, and you've got this weight loss meter up here, there's going to be different weight loss meters for each way to use it. So at this point, I would scroll down here and I would come look at this, the description to see which one of these ways is that negative three weight loss meter meal. So right here, and this is the way that I normally eat it, two packages as a negative three weight loss meter meal. Now, just a little recap for those of you who might not know, the weight loss meter is just another way for us to categorize foods. We've categorized foods based on their nutritional profile and how they respond in your body, and they make their way into category one through seven, and then some other little categories that aren't numbered, like this meal replacement category. Um, but Within each category, there's another way to categorize foods. Okay, now that I've moved myself into this category, which foods in this category are the best for weight loss? That's when you use the weight loss meter. And I love having these options and I, I love having all the answers done for me. I love that I didn't have to do 20, 20 years of research to find this program out. I love that I paid $69 for a lifetime membership and somebody else did all the work. So if you do not have a membership yet, please get your membership at ShabelleLithDeals.com. It is 69 bucks right now, all right? And that's a lifetime membership. It will be the best money you've ever spent on yourself and you are worth that investment.
Do you know what you're going to spend more time doing? The investment of time learning it over a course of a week, but it's worth it. You're worth it. So let's do it. Okay. So this is the way that I normally do it. Two packages as a meal, negative three weight loss meter. I am very satisfied after eating that. I will use, I choose two different um syrups sometimes sometimes I just do a little bit of butter if I'm feeling like I'm missing butter I'll just do butter and I won't do some syrup but if I just want to I don't really care about the butter that day I'll do one of two syrups I use a Lancanto monk fruit syrup so it's sweetened with monk fruit it's maple flavored and then sometimes I use um I don't know log cabin I think log cabin sugar-free something like that and then you could also do one package of this with half a cup of egg whites, and that would be a negative three weight loss meter meal. That you could do one package. Hey, Alice, I'm glad you're here. One package with one egg, or make sure that you pick up on these little conjunctions here, or two pieces of sausage. And that would be a negative two weight loss meter meal. I actually think I want to try that. I just keep forgetting to do it. Um, one package alone is a snack. That's a plus one on the weight loss meter. I would not do that. I would do one of these three up here. I would choose something else for a snack that is less on the weight loss meter meal than that. Okay, so if you wanted to get this, well, first of all, there's some little videos that you can watch about it, and there's some linked recipes. We looked at recipes yesterday, and where do you buy this? This comes from the Shibboleth store. If you want to get it from us, you click on this link and you'll find it in our store. And then you can just simply come down here and add it to your cart and it pops over into your cart. We must be out of stock. No, oh look, must be out of stock. Um, yeah, that's out of stock. But anyway, if it's out of stock, just keep your eye on it. Y'all right now, it is just tough to keep everything in. So just keep watching, watching, watching and order it as soon as you see it's available. Because believe me, we order stuff. It's just that with manufacturing and shipping these days with the way that the world has been over the past year and a half, it's just a little bit harder to get everything in. So be patient with us. Okay, so I really like that. And let's scroll on down. Let's look at Mighty Muffin. The flapjacked Mighty Muffin is an excellent beginner meal replacement. Absolutely excellent. I used about 20 of these in my first 20 days. So it's a meal replacement. You don't see it listed out as other things. You would just use this as a meal replacement. One Mighty Muffin, it's a negative three on the weight loss meter. I've rated it as five stars. I've got it hearted. And uh, 381 other people have come in here to say yes. I like it too. Now, you can find these out in grocery stores and stuff, but they don't carry the variety that we do. And I don't know why it doesn't, it's not linked right there to our store because we do carry them. Um, but it, by the way, if you do order something on Amazon, if you click through the Shibboleth website to get to Amazon, even if you don't put a Mighty Muffin in your cart, uh, Amazon knows that you got to their website through our website and they will give Shibboleth back two to four cents on the dollar, depending on what you're purchasing. So if you want to support us, it would be a great way to do that. Um, it's always better to purchase in our store to support us, but it's not a requirement, obviously. Um, and then if you, that secondary way to support us is even when you aren't buying a food item, just get to Amazon through our link. It helps. OK, so one meal replacement is a snack. In, I want you to listen to this next little bit. You can have half as, a, excuse me, one is a meal replacement. You can have half as a snack. Who could eat half? I, I don't know who could eat half. I really don't. And the reason I say that is, how do you know what half is? It, it's, it's, it's a muffin. And it's not like I could perfectly half it. So I don't attempt to half this thing. I just eat it as a meal replacement and move on. Um, this is somebody telling you how to make it as little cookies. And look, look at all the different places that you can get Mighty Muffins. And Walmart is a big spot. But they typically carry blueberry, double chocolate, um, chocolate with peanut butter and peanut butter. They don't carry the lemon cream that tastes like Fruity Pebbles. 
they don't carry the s'mores and the cinnamon apple and all of those others. Um, so if you want more variety, you can check it out from us. You might just have to go directly to our site. I don't know why the green button's not there. Okay, so that one is an excellent meal replacement. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to go to is there's also another pancake mix. It's called Health Wise. Health Wise is another excellent product made specifically for weight loss. And we sell that at our store too. What's nice about these pancakes, I'll see if it can show us, um, there are multiple flavors. So there's blueberry, there's even a pumpkin, and there's chocolate chip, and then there's just regular. So um, these are used basically the same way as those other pancakes, just made by a different company. So this is health wise. But the nice thing about them is they have different flavors if you're looking for a different flavor. Okay, the next thing we're gonna talk about is this, health wise hot chocolate. Health wise hot chocolate is fabulous to have in your pantry. It can be used as a lean protein. So it can be used as a category one. It can be used as a snack, it can be used as an extra or a meal replacement. Now notice it's a negative three. So to find out how is it really a negative three, which one of these ways is it a negative three, you could come down here and see what it shows you. Um, and it gives you some options. So the options for HealthWise hot chocolate or HealthWise cappuccino are as follows. Your best option is to have one serving with one serving of Bio Coffee, Coco Ringa, or Beverly Ump as a negative three weight loss meter meal. I probably would not do this with Coco Ringa because they are two different chocolate tastes. Um, totally do it with a Bio Coffee or the Beverly Ump, but I wouldn't mix those two chocolate tastes if I were you. Um, you may have up to three servings alone as a negative three weight loss meter meal. Just let me tell you, you probably do not need three servings of that even for a negative three weight loss meter meal. I can make one serving of that and sip on it until lunchtime. And, and it's, not, it's not the three and you're not wasting money. Um, you can have two servings as a zero weight loss meter snack. Now watch this. Do you see how this is a negative three meal and this is a negative three meal and you're using the same product, but it's a zero? That's because snacks aren't that great for weight loss. So therefore, we're telling you that if you use it in this way, it's a zero on the weight loss meter. So the weight loss meter isn't there just about how the food works, it's how you're using it too. So I love this information. And you can have one serving as an extra. It's also probably a zero weight loss meter. Um, but typically an extra is how I use it. Maybe I just want a little something mid-morning or mid-afternoon, I will have that as an extra. Now this is... Um, and here, let me read number five. You may also have one health wise hot chocolate with one quest protein bar as a negative two weight loss meter, perfect pairing. And then you've got some notes down there, which I'm not going to take the time to read, but you can, you could use that. Um, now I want to show something. Do you see right here? 80, 80 calories in one serving. When we get over and we're talking about extras, extras usually are around 40 calories or less, but there are some judgment calls that have been made by Travis. Okay, is this gonna help people and could they use it in a moment of weakness and is it gonna hurt them? And this has got a few more calories than what I really want an extra to have, but it's got 15 grams of protein and can it keep people safe? Yeah, yes, it can. So he's made a judgment call on calling this an extra, where most other little extras that you're going to see are going to be, you know, around 30 calories, excuse me, around 40 calories or less. So if you ever see that, don't try to make sense of it. It's that this one has had a judgment call made on it by Travis. Thank you, Travis, because <laughs> I use this as a um, extra. So if you want to write that down on your list, you can write that down as an extra too. I think it's a, it's a great extra in my opinion. 
Okay, so let's click there. I'm gonna do two more, two more, and then we'll move on. Uh, hemp bars, amen. Okay, let's click right here. There are negative three on the weight loss meter. Now it can be used as a snack, as a meal replacement, or if you're having a low blood sugar episode, you can use that. I only use this as a meal replacement. I don't use this as a snack because this is a 12 inch bar and I'm just organized and I like things to be done neatly and I don't know. So I open up this bar, I have a ruler right there in the cabinet. I pull my ruler out, I lay my ruler down. It's a 12 inch ruler. I go ahead and get my knife and I cut it at four inches and at eight inches. I take a third out, I click my little lid back on because as you can see on this picture, this little uh, indentions here, they click back in. And then I just push it back on the cabinet and let it sit there. And I eat my third. Well, the next morning I eat another third. And then the next morning I eat another third. And then I take a break from a hemp bar for a couple of days. So that's what I do with it. So I don't ever use it as a snack. Um, but a third of the bar is a meal replacement or a quarter of it is a snack. And they've changed that. It used to be a sixth of it. But, um, and, and I didn't think a sixth was enough and wanted more. So that's why I thought, well, why don't I just use this as a meal replacement? So you'll figure out different ways that you like to use things. But notice as a snack, a zero weight loss meter. And that is because snacks aren't great for weight loss. But you use this baby as a meal replacement, it's a negative three on the weight loss meter meal. And these are super healthy too, super healthy. So hemp bars. Now, and also, guess another reason I love these, nuts. I love nuts and I can overeat a bag of nuts. But now I get nuts on my chocolate hemp bar. And if you like fruit, it's a great way to get in some dried fruit too. All right, so let's do, did I say I was going to do two more? I can't remember. That was one of them. Y'all want to know why I, I never talk about the oatmeal protein pie in this class? For those of you who have uh, listened to this class before, and y'all know I love the oatmeal protein pie um, because it's not a negative two, negative three meal replacement. It's like a zero. Oh, okay, let's talk about these. The Shibboleth protein bars, they are a negative three. Y'all can see I have it hearted. Oh my goodness, these things are phenomenal. So this one, it does happen to be my favorite. Um, and these things, you know, like a Rice Krispie Treat, I've never been a Rice Krispie Treat fan, but I do know what they taste like. I mean, I've eaten them before. They're too gooey, they're too sticky, they're too hard in the mouth. These things fall apart in your mouth. They are so, so good. So you can use these as a snack or a light meal replacement. So I'm gonna ask a question. If you're using this as a snack, what's the weight loss meter gonna be on it? Let's see who's listening tonight. Did y'all fall asleep or are you taking notes? <laughs> All right, Stacy, Jelena, yes, a zero. So if you use it as a snack, it's going to be a zero on the weight loss meter. But if you use it as a meal replacement, it's a negative three. Thank you, Heidi. Thank you. Okay, so I just wanted to test y'all. Okay, so now we've gone over some, some of those. Thank you, Sharon. And we're just going to click that box, but I want y'all to click the box after you've picked out and explored seven. Okay, you need to list seven. All right, the next thing that we're going to look at is this very top thing. We're going to look at void replacements, void replacements. Click here to find approved replacements for some of your favorite things to avoid having an unplanned holiday. So we're going to click right there. And there's a couple of ways that you can look at this on your phone. You're just gonna see these listed down. You'll see a search bar and you could just scroll down and look at all the things that you've liked before. You know, crackers and croutons and donuts and granola, gummy bears, you know, all those things that we like, okay? They may not be good for us, but we've gotten used to eating them and we like them and, um, that's because our founder, he, he likes stuff that tastes good and is fun like this too, but he knows that he needs to do right 80% of the time. 
And how do you do right 80% of the time when you want a little bit of um, something that tastes like what you might have eaten before? You find a void replacement. So we'll have void replacements for ice cream, pop tarts, and all kinds of stuff. So you can just scroll down through the list. And it's not an inclusive list. It's not an all inclusive list. It's just kind of there to give you some ideas. Ooh, sweet and salty mixes. We might have to look at that one. Okay, but let's say that you just want to say, what would I use in place of chips? And I'm typing that one in because it is popular. It's a popular request. And we've got, well, Chips Ahoy cookies, which listed out because it's got the word chips in it. Frito corn chips, kettle potato chips, and Lay's classic potato chips. Okay, let's click on Frito's corn chips. So it says, do not eat it. I love that they just tell you, don't eat it. Um, now, you, when could you? I had some of these recently. When did I have these? I had these a couple of Saturdays ago at my neighbor's house. Guess what I was having, though? What was I having? If I was eating those Frito scoops with some chili that my neighbor made, what was I having? A holiday. That's right. I was having a holiday. I think it was the first weekend of, um, of college football. And we were down at our neighbor's house. That was the day that Georgia was playing Clemson. Yeah, Georgia and Clemson game. We went down there and I had Fritos in chili. And you know what? It was delicious. Do you know why it was so delicious? Because I'm not shoving it down my throat all the time every day now. And I ate it and I was like, yum, that is so good. But I don't need to do it every day. But if you do want to do this, like maybe on the chili, you can make an approved chili and then use some of this double bites chips. We sell these double bites chips in the um, Shibola store. So as a negative one weight loss meter category three. So notice this is a category three. If you use this as a snack, watch this, Stacy, Jelena, Sharon, and Heidi, watch this. It went to a plus one on the weight loss meter if you use it as a snack. That's because we've looked at all the details on it and there you go. Now, if you want to watch little videos, there's little, tra Tristan, by the way, is Travis's son. Um, so if you wanted to watch a little video, you can watch that video. But I love that there's little nuggets of things, of information all throughout the website. And you can also get these at our website. Okay, so that's an option for Fritos. If you want to see kettle potato chips, we've got pop chips, potato chips. Now, these are not my favorite. I would highly suggest that you try to get a chip with more protein in it. This one only has one gram of protein, so it, it's just okay in my opinion, um, because I believe you can find a better choice that's just as tasty, but that would work in a pinch. And that's my own personal opinion, but um, there's a, like Benitos. I know that Benitos isn't similar to that, um, but Benitos have five grams. And if you like Quest chips, they have 10 grams. I'm going to be um, taste testing some um, new crisps um, on Saturday. So we'll let you know what they taste like. Okay, Lay's Classic Potato Chips. Do not eat it. So again, it gives you the pop chips as an option and it gives you the Quest tortilla style chips as an option. All right, so let's just say, I'm gonna go back because, but you see what the point is with this. Look up cake, look up cookies, just look up things. But I wanna see the sweet and salty mixes. Okay, do not eat it. Oh, and they didn't give us any choices. <laughs> okay, so I guess that means when I'm eating that uh, sweet and salty mix and it's a holiday, there's no choice there. Let's see, Teddy Grahams, Teddy Grahams. When you're having great, when you're craving Teddy Grahams, try Bear Bites instead. Okay, let's see what Bear Bites are. Okay, but they'd be really good. So the Kodiak, Kodiak Cakes. Okay, this is a good example of the fact that some products that are named a certain brand are approved and some aren't. So you're seeing the word Kodiak right here. Kodiak Cake, Bear Bites, they're approved. Um, you could have one ounce as a plus one weight loss meter category three. So if you were having a little wrap and you wanted to have maybe a little treat next to it, you could have a category one and two wrap and you could have that as a three. Or you could do one and a half ounces as a plus one weight loss meter snack or one ounce of Bear Bites with eight ounces of Kroger Carb Master or Fat-Free Fair Life as a zero weight loss meter snack or light meal. 
Sounds pretty good <laughs> now that I'm looking at them. But Kodiak, every time you see Kodiak does not mean it's approved. So Kodiak muffins that look like the Mighty Muffin, they are not approved. So just don't assume that something looks similar and that there are certain products that are in there that have the same name, that it's all approved. Make sure that it is approved before you purchase and use it. So the void replacement is just a fun little way to uh, find these. Let's look at this Snickers candy bar. Okay, I'm just going to say right now, I have recently purchased these two Atkins products. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely delicious. This chocolate, chocolate nut caramel roll or chocolate caramel chocolate nut roll bar. It really tastes more like a baby Ruth to me, but it's so similar to a Snickers, it works. And this, um, this one did too, but there's even one that tastes like a payday and I like paydays. And then the Shibboleth protein bars are also listed here as well. This Oh Yeah bar, they quit making. So we need to remove that. That happens sometimes. Sometimes we have products that we really like and they quit making them. It's so annoying, but we can't make it. Can't make manufacturers do what we want to. Okay, so once you kind of know what that void replacement area is for, you can click there. And really, some of those void replacements that you look up are going to be used as freebies, extra snacks, or meal replacements. More in the extra snack and meal replacements than freebies. Okay, what is a freebie? Freebies are just that. You can eat these items freely whenever you are hungry throughout the day. Most of your whole food category two veggies are freebies. Check the list and our recipe library. Okay, so here's the thing about freebies. We do not add freebies to meals. So if you have a category two veggie that is listed as a category two veggie and it's listed as a freebie, when you're making a combined meal, you're gonna call that a category two. You're not going to call that a freebie. Okay, you only call something a freebie if you're using it in a moment of mental weakness away from a meal. That's when it's a freebie, okay? We also don't add freebies to meals because freebies still, most of them, take up space. They take up space. So if you're taking up space in your stomach, whether it's from broccoli or whatever, you're still stretching your stomach. We don't want our stomach to be stretched. We want our stomach to be normal, regular size. If you feel, feel full, you've actually already eaten a little bit too much, okay? So if you get that feeling, make yourself stop. And if you've had one serving of your, a proper serving of food and you really want more, then you need to say, I can have that, I can have seconds. I can have seconds four to six hours later. Net, sometimes four to six hours later or even longer is the next morning. I have eaten Travis's spaghetti for breakfast before. I was at dinner. I wanted a second serving of Travis's spaghetti. I said, I can have that four to six hours later. Oops, in four to six hours, I'm going to be asleep. When is the next time I can have Travis's spaghetti? Breakfast. Guess what I did? I woke up and had Travis's spaghetti for breakfast. And it was, it was a great way to start the day, actually. Okay, so that's enough about freebies, but let's click here and see some freebies. Now, one of my favorite freebies is apple cider vinegar. I know that's not food, but freebies is a very diverse list. So in the freebies, you're going to find lots of seasonings. You're going to find like the apple cider vinegar. You're going to find like the very first thing listed here, zero calorie sweeteners. You know, you're going to find a variety of things listed here. And they're all just listed there just to make sure that we understand and know what they are. Okay, so let's look like even mustard is a freebie, which is a great freebie. Um, let me come down here and see. Bell peppers, I think, is a great freebie. There's one of my favorites, apple cider vinegar. I use that though only in a drink. I don't just drink it raw. Um, okay, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to some freebies that people really appreciate in the beginning. Let's see, cucumbers. I think cucumbers is a great freebie. There we go, dill pickles. If you like pickles, I only hearted this because I like to show people that dill pickles are a freebie. No sugary pickles or sweet pickles. Those aren't freebies. Um, your dill pickles are. 
So I hard, I don't like pickles, but I hearted that to show y'all because a lot of people do use pickles as a freebie. And look, see like right there, dried Italian seasoning, dried oregano. So you're going to see all kinds of things listed as freebies. But the freebies that I might have used in the beginning would were cucumbers and bell peppers. The other thing that I like to use right here is egg whites. Now look, see all these zeros, 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 zeros. Well, egg whites, look at that, a negative three. So they probably use as a freebie. Well, nobody ever pushed away from the table and said, hey, wait a minute, I'm eating, I've eaten way too many egg whites. Nobody ever said that. I, so egg whites, I don't like them scrambled. So this is what I do. I boil some eggs and have them in the refrigerator. And if I needed a freebie, I throw away the yolk, put me some salt on that, um, that boiled egg and I eat it. That, that's the way I would do that as a freebie. But egg whites are a freebie. Let's find one more. I want to find one more that is not, you know, like a hot sauce or something like that and not a category two vegetable. Oh, a lot of times people like sweet things, um, but so sugar-free jello is a, is a freebie. You could use that sugar-free jello. Ooh, that Montreal steak seasoning, that McCormick Montreal steak seasoning is delicious, y'all. Okay. Um, and you're going to look through this list and you're going to go, okay, I've never even heard of this product. I've never even heard of this product. I mean, you're going to be introduced to so many things. Okay, yeah, sugar-free popsicle. Let's see if we can find something like that. Thank you, Heidi. If you use Plexus Slim, there it is. See, we don't discriminate. We just put whatever works in here. I love that. There's sugar-free Jello right there. Oh, I love sugar-free gum. And a sugar-free popsicle. It might have to be an extra, not sure. So I don't see a sugar-free popsicle there. Um, so there's a sweet thing that you could use would be the sugar-free gum or the sugar-free jello. But I'm gonna go all the way back to the top of this list because this thing right here, the AHS chicken bouillon, this is really, a category two if you were to use it with a meal, but if you need it as a freebie, if you're looking for something savory to make you feel like you really ate a meal, that tastes like egg drop soup. And it's, it's really nice and it's nothing but fiber. So that would be a good product if you wanna have something savory over something sweet or sour. Okay, so freebies, you just wanna make sure that you go through the list and pick out at least seven that you're interested in. Okay, an extra, and one extra per day is, a, is allowed, but it is not necessarily expedient. Just because something is allowed doesn't mean that it's required, okay? Keep in mind that it is better to have an extra than to give up a perfect day in a moment of mental weakness, and it is still counted as a perfect day, and you are still an EFB. So let's come up with some extras. Now, the extra that I use is that high protein hot chocolate. Do we have people on here tonight that like more sweet stuff or more salty? Okay, the very first thing here is a quarter cup of that Olay Mexican cheese dip. Everybody likes that, right? You could, I've, I've done this before. I take a bag of Quest chips and a quarter cup of that. So a bag of Quest chips and a quarter cup of that is a snack and an extra, but I actually just use it as my meal eating episode. So I've done that before when I'm feeling like I want some chips. So the Olay Mexican cheese dip, I'm gonna click there real quick because I wanna see, it says an extra, okay? It doesn't say that it's a meal replacement. It doesn't say it's a snack. You know, it's, it's, it's an extra. Um, okay, it is 40 calories per serving. I think it said 50 on my container though. That's why I was kind of curious about it. Um,
All right. Okay, I do like this Carbolite ice cream mix as an extra. This Carbolite ice cream mix, it's like it's like the Shibola frozen yogurt. It's got four strains of yogurt in it and you just kind of blend it up and make it like a little ice cream. It is delicious. Um, and let me, let me open it real quick because the bag doesn't look like this anymore. It, it, it's prettier than that, but it can be used as a snack or an extra. Two ounces as an extra. Believe me, that's plenty. But if you wanted 12 ounces of this, you can use it as a snack. 12 ounces. 12 ounces is a lot, but it makes me feel like I'm having ice cream. And I don't like yogurt, but I will put a, a tablespoon of this into some Oikos Triple Zero vanilla yogurt. And it is, it makes my yogurt taste like a mousse. And I will eat the occasional yogurt at that point. Okay, so let's see, here's some fudge sickles, um, Heidi. Fudge sickle, no sugar added fudge pops. One of them would probably be an extra. Let's see if we can find some other sugar-free popsicles, but I bet they're just extras, Heidi, on that. Halo Top ice cream mini pops would be an extra. Oh, and you could even have a soup. You can even have a soup as an extra. There's some uh, Newman's Own mild salsa. And there's the on the border chunky salsa. Sabra hummus. And so forth. So there's lots of good little things in here as an extra. So once you've gone through there and find seven, now it's really the, the action item here is really just meant to get you exploring in there. Over your lifetime of living this lifestyle, you're going to see posts from other people and how they might use an extra and you can incorporate those at that time. But this is to get you digging into the food library for the specific purpose of looking for those because you want to know what you could use in that moment so you don't give up a perfect day. Okay, snacks. One snack per day is allowed, but it's not necessarily expedient. See, just because something is lawful doesn't mean that it is uh, expedient. So you can use that, you'd still be an EFB. Okay, so let's look at some snacks. So some things that I use as a snack are the um, Choco Right peanut butter patties or the Choco Right crispy um, things. Let's see. I don't use that. Some of these things I have hearted, but I don't use them as a snack. I do use this AHS cinnamon crisp as a snack. I like to take that as a snack if I'm going to be going on a car ride because it'll just give me something to, you know, how we like to do when we're a car ride. Um, I like nuts and seeds as a snack, but I have a hard time stopping because I really like nuts and seeds. Um, oh, one thing I really enjoy as a snack every once in a while, I do have some in my, my refrigerator right now in my freezer. These Applegate, Applegate Naturals gluten-free uncured beef, beef corn dogs. Mm, these things are so good, so good. There's that Atkins uh, chocolate caramel nut roll bar that I just found. I just bought a new one today. What did I buy today? I bought the Indulge. Let's see, I bought an Atkins. Haven't eaten one. I opened, let's listen, I opened the box and I looked at them and this is what I said. If you eat one of those, cause I'd already eaten everything I could eat for the day. If you eat one of those, then you're having, it's a holiday. And cause I'd already eaten a snack. And then this is what I said. This is what I used to say in the beginning. I can have one of those tomorrow. So you just start planning when you can have that, but it's, it's, it can be hard to say in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. So I can have that tomorrow. Okay, this was an indulge. This is what I bought. I bought the indulge nutty fudge brownie. So we'll see how that tastes. I'm gonna go ahead and heart it. Um, but I really like some of these Atkins products. There was a couple of Atkins products there that I wanted to try. Um, but when I saw that they were a two on the weight loss meter, I didn't buy them. And I looked this one up. So I was standing in the um, Publix 
on my app and I looked up the nutty fudge brownies I saw that it was a zero I said okay well that's better than a two so I didn't buy that I didn't buy the two things but I do have to say those Atkins things taste good okay Benito's baked bean chips as a snack um these baked bean crunch this is like a cheaty uh, uh, I mean a puffy Cheeto um, they're really good. And I do have to say that these are in full bags. You would have to portion them out. If you are not good at portioning things out, you know, once the bag is open, if all those things that are left in that bag are calling your name, don't buy big old bags. Okay, just don't buy them because you want to learn the strategies that keep you from making the same mistakes before. So just don't buy them. What I do is I buy these and I will take them with me on vacation. So let's say I want to sit on the I want to sit on the beach and I eat these baked bean crunch on the beach. I'm having a holiday because I'm probably eat the whole thing over the course of a day, but I didn't hurt myself nearly as bad as I would have had I eaten actual Cheetos. So, um, but it's still a holiday. Let's see. Hey, Dawn. Okay, Dawn. Uh, Diane says that the Atkins pretzel bar is yummy. Hey, Diane, and uh, thank you, Dawn. Hello, glad you're here. And let's see if we can find a couple more. See, that one's hearted because I think I might want to try it, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's talk about this. Snacks. Halo Top ice cream is a great snack. I know Diane just says something so smart. Portion them out into the sandwich bags. That would be brilliant. They still are very loud. <laughs> so I don't do that. But yes, no, I get you, Diane. I get you. Y'all can do that. That is excellent. Um, Halo Top. Yes, yes, that's a good one. The other snack I take to the beach, Dawn, is the Little Man Luke Jeffrey Square or Little Man Jeffrey Luke Squares. They're an interesting hemp product from the store. Very good. But Halo Top ice cream is good if y'all like ice cream. This Breyers Carb Smart Fudge Bar, I like it. Um, there's that Carbolite ice cream mix again. And y'all, I pretty much use the same things over and over. Okay, so here's some of the things I like. I like these Choco Right products. So let me open up one of these and show you what they look like. So these little things right here, if you, they can, it's a snack, an extra, and it's also gluten-free and you can find them in our store right here. But when you get a packet, so it comes in a box and it's got little packets in it. The packets have two patties in there. One patty would be an extra. So let's say that you eat dinner and you just want a little taste of something after that as a, a dessert. You could do one little extra, but you know what I do sometimes? I will, um, I will have it as a condiment. <laughs> I'll have it as a condiment. Oh, Tracy. Yeah, you're gonna try, try some of the, um, the Halo Top and the other things. And you really might like some of the, um, the wow challenges, Tracy, that have ice cream in them. Because I feel you on that ice cream. But you know what I called ice cream the other night? Fat storage in a carton. So think about that. When you look at that ice cream in a carton, go, mm, fat storage in a carton. Um, why? Because it, it, it's sugar. So it elevates your blood sugar. And there's fat in there because it's made with whole milk and stuff. So it's just fat storage. Um, but if you can find an ice cream, there's plenty, Tracy, plenty of ice creams that taste great, but don't have that blood sugar impact on you. You can use it as a snack. Okay, but two of these, the two packets, which would be four little patties would be a snack. And you know what? You could break that snack up over the course of the day. Maybe you have one patty after lunch, one patty after dinner, and then a patty in the afternoon. You could break up a snack during the day if you wanted to. So anyway, these are really, really good and you can get them in our store. 
And then once you have seven on your list, you just check that box. And then tomorrow night, we're going to go over the advanced combination chart. We're going to learn how to find videos in the video library. We're going to look at the restaurant guide. Got to know how to use that, right? And we're going to look at wow challenges. So make sure, Tracy, come back tomorrow night so you can see those wow challenges. Yes, Dawn, Choco Right is so good. There is a Choco Right shake, too, a protein shake. But if you like peanut butter flavored protein shakes, Travis says that the Choco Right peanut butter protein shake is the absolute best. The healthiest um, meal replacement on the market that's a protein shake is Beverly Ump. It's got all of the essential and non-essential amino acids in it. That's called Beverly Ump. And, um, but I also like the Advocare vanilla um, powdered protein shake. It's delicious. You get that at blowtorchfat.com blowtorchfat.com and that is I, I mean that one tastes like a vanilla ice cream to me and I'm eating a protein shake I'll mix it up with ice I'll take it I'll put it in my yeti so it's nice and cool get a spoon go sit out on the back deck and feel like I'm having ice cream but I had that and I've done that with Beverly Ump too but once I had that Advocare one I thought oh dang it's good it's real good but the um, Beverly Ump one is slightly better for you because it has all of the essential and non-essential amino acids. All right. Well, I hope that y'all have had a great time tonight. If you have just found us, please bring a friend along with you on this journey. Who wouldn't want to have a buddy that you can say, well, where'd you find that? What are you eating tonight? And y'all encourage each other all along the way. It is fun to have a Shibboleth buddy. So make sure they know about ShibbolethDeals.com. And then it's only 69 bucks right now. And they can get a lifetime membership. Believe me, over the course of a lifetime, that's going to um, come out to hardly any pennies a day. Okay. It will be the absolute best value you have ever spent on education for yourself. And you are worth educating. Um, oh, great, Tracy. Oh my goodness, whole family doing it. That's awesome. That is awesome. What a blessing. What a blessing. Bring them to fast track, okay? Bring them to Fast Track starting on Sunday night for sure. Or they can go back and watch it. But you know, I love to have y'all live here with me. All right. So my prayer for you is keep them safe day and night. Give them courage, strength, and might. I'll see you in the morning for the Shibby Show. Bye, everybody.